Hello, this is Adam Hewison coming to you from the Market Club Digital Studios. And today what we're going to be talking about is a remarkable series of number called the Fibonacci series and how they affect the markets and how you can take advantage of these numbers and come up with winners. So this is how we're going to do this. We're going to use our Fibonacci tool which is right here and this is going to show us something quite remarkable. So you click on the high here and I'll tell you all this later on. You click here and you click down here the low. And as you can see it has a series of lines that go across here and we'll scope this out so we actually can see more of what we're looking at. And what it is, the Fibonacci series which was discovered by Fibonacci and his famous book he published in 1202 that's almost 800 years, it's over 800 years ago, indicates that markets or numbers tend to fall into these categories, the 1.68 numbers. So from the low to the high, the market pulls back 38%, which is right here, 1,204. You see the market bounce from here, then it pulls back 50%, and then 62%. When you see a pullback like that, it usually means we're in an area the market should be turning around. So you're looking here, looking for a turnaround. Here, obviously, you had a turnaround. You did not see a turnaround at 50%, but you did see it at 62%. So the retracements are 38% right here, 50% right here, and 62% right here. So Let's step forward and just see how that actually works in the real market conditions. We're looking at the S&P 500, so it's impossible to fake this data. And this is what makes this discovery so remarkable. I saw this many years ago and I thought it, it was just extraordinary how it's remained very true to itself. We're going to be looking at another example of these retracement levels. Now this is again the S&P 500. You simply click on this tool. You click on the high and then you click on the most recent low, a major low. Click here and as you can see the market had some re a remarkable pullback. There's the 50% level and there's the 62% level again. That's when the market turned around and continued going higher. So let's step this forward and I'll take this off the screen right now and we'll move this down. Okay, now there's another there's another pullback here. So let's just take a look at that. Again, we click on the high and we click on the low. And as you can see, the market was very strong at this point in time and did not pull back all the way. It only pulled back to 38%, did not hit the 50 or the 62% retracement, and then the market started back up again. So as you can see, it's pretty remarkable how this works and how it continues to work. So let's just take this off the screen again. We'll step this forward. Now this is where it gets to be very interesting. This interesting. This is why, and we're doing this current. We're as of Monday, the fifth of November. The S and P is down 16 points, uh, not acting very well. But I want to show you something that I think is quite remarkable. So we'll take this off the screen. We'll click on the tool again, and we'll click on the high here and on the low here. So again, we did not see a pullback here. The pullback exceeded our expectations, which meant that things were potentially changing. Now let's take this off the screen and see where we are now. So this is the recent high just made a couple of weeks ago. And let's click on that high and then click on this low. Now as you can see, I'm going to scope this in just a little bit closer so you can see just how close this works. So as you can see, we had the pullback to the 38% level and the market rallied. Now I'm going to show you the reverse of this and how you can take advantage of it. We did not hit this level now or this 62% retracement. However, the market looks like it's coming into those zones. So again, I'm going to take this off the screen and we're going to scope this in even further. And this is what I want to show you because it not only does it work when the market's going up, but it also works when the market's going down. So let's just take 
again the Fibonacci tool. It's easy to use with Market Club. Click on the highs, click on the lows, and as you can see, we had the first retracement was the 38% on the upside. It had a pullback. We went a little higher to the 62%. We just exceeded it just by a little bit, which can happen, and then we pull right back down, which tells us that maybe the line of least resistance for this market right now is on the downside. And what we may want to be looking at is we we'll take this off the screen again and we'll click on this and we'll click on the highs, the very high point and the very low point that we saw for this. So look at the target zones we have now. We're looking at a target zone of 1473 and 1449. This is a 62% retracement here and a 50% retracement here. So we could see this market, even from today's levels, drop another 20 points on the S&P and potentially another 23 points, another 50, 45, 50 points from where we are right now. So that's how you use the Fibonacci. It's always a retracement from a high to a low. You can measure it out and you can take advantage of those markets. That This happens in stocks, futures, foreign exchange, and precious metals. You can use Market Club to find them, and it's easy. Hey, this is Adam Hewison with lesson number one, Fibonacci, how you can use it, and how you can profit by it. Have a good day.